The task groups in the Cluster of Excellence Quest were set up to find rapid and effective solutions to specific scientific challenges in Quest. The researchers in the task groups are more closely oriented towards finding solutions than their colleagues in the research areas who have a broader approach and conduct more long-term research. In the task groups, experts from different areas work together on a high-priority scientific problem. Here, we bring the top experts from the research areas together. They pool their skills to find a solution and take the skills they have acquired in the task groups back into the individual research areas. In this way, we are highly efficient and able to respond rapidly to new challenges. The task group Transportable Ultra Stable Clocks takes full advantage of this. The group is based at the PTB, the National Metrology Institute in Braunschweig, where there is a strontium optical lattice clock. The strontium atoms are first cooled by laser, then fixed additionally in the interference pattern of two laser beams. The atoms stored in this so-called optical lattice are practically at rest and represent the pendulum of the clock. The frequency of the light created by the atoms can now be determined accurately. Strontium atoms have advantages in optical clocks, but there are also certain disadvantages. With strontium, we have the major advantage that we can capture and study very many atoms. This leads to a strong signal, which increases the stability of the clock. But this also means that we need significantly more high-performance laser systems, and so these clocks can, or could so far, be operated only under carefully controlled laboratory conditions. So far, it has been possible to compare the best optical clocks with their high level of accuracy only at the same stationary location. This makes them unsuitable for many applications. Accuracy is essential in space, in satellite navigation or in geodesy. And it's here that we need the optical clocks to work. In the task group, in the task group, we build optical clocks from small modules. The modules are very much smaller and thus also easier to transport than the previous ones. The challenge lies in maintaining the quality. But there is another way to take advantage of the precision of optical clocks in different locations. Here we can see a fiber optic cable being used. It goes from the PTB in Braunschweig to the Institute of Quantum Optics in Hanover, 73 kilometers away. Transportable or using fiber optics, two ways to make more widespread use of optical clocks. It would then be impossible to stop its triumphal success. Such advances are the aim of the task groups in quest. The task groups are an essential tool for us enabling us, for example, to conduct highly accurate frequency measurements in cooperation with the PTB. Here we need the PTB clocks as a reference, and they can be linked via the telecommunication fiber link. These measurements are real teamwork. Several people at the PTB and the Institute work synchronously at the PTB clocks and our frequencies standard here in Hanover. I think the task groups are a unique feature of Quest, excelling in the fact that all the groups work together intensively and complement each other. The speed at which quantum physicists are moving forward is incredible. The Quest researchers are playing their part, not least also thanks to the task groups.